I guess even in a restricted area, these crackers need someone to clean the floors. <laughs> Those politicians and scientists don't bother about what they say around me because I'm some half-leaded colored boy. But I can tell they scared out of their wits by that thing they got locked upstairs. Yes, sir. They got to talk about the tail, and they don't know whether to hang on or run. Mr. Thompson, sir, I, I replaced the entire fuse banker's ass, and the lights were all in working order last night. Last night? There they go again. We go through boxes of fuses every day as of late, and they're just in the siphon alone. I don't... Oh! oh something's happening! What? Ah! Ah! They've been watching her. One thing to imagine one's future, and another to see it. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But Elizabeth shall sow those seeds, not I. I will fall before the job is done. But she shall take up my mantle. The Lord is calling me home. I feel his love in every tumor, because they are the train which takes me to his station. And I go with joy, knowing that Elizabeth will take my earthly place. But the false shepherd is coming to lead my lamb astray. 
I will not board that train until she is safe from his deceptions. girl different. I suspect it has less to do with what she is, and rather more with what she is not. A small part of her remains from where she came. It would seem the universe does not like its peas mixed with its porridge. My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! Are you real? I'm real enough. He's coming. You, you've got to go. Why? You don't want to be here when he gets here. Just a minute, I'm getting dressed. Get you out of here. There's no way out. Trust me, I've looked. Stop it, you're, you're too impatient. That's enough. What about this? What about it? This is the way out, isn't it? What are you... Give it to me. See about that. Who are you? 
Why did you come here? This way, come on! The hell is that? Press the button! What is all this? They were watching me? All this time? Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? You're the girl who's getting out of this tower! Elizabeth. of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. You need to... I said I'm fine. Just... Just, just give me a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, it's music. Yeah, go on. I just... Oh, just need to... Okay, I, I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. DeWitt. You 
see a young girl, a blue skirt, no? No, but I'm without an escort if you're looking to pass the time. Not here. Hey, hey, I'm looking for a young girl, uh, wearing a white blouse, brown hair, blue eyes. You fellas seen a girl around here? Blue skirt, dark hair. Prophet may know how his own biography is going to end, but I can scarcely fathom how I'm going to start it. I mean, other than the kid stuff you get at the Hall of Heroes, anything prior to his baptism was in here. Airship. Hang on. That could be our ticket out of here. Left on the riverside. They'll call me a plagiarist, but I'm going to spend the first 30 pages regurgitating scripture. All I want is fair pay for an honest day's work. I think there is. Maybe you and I should go for a walk. Hey, miss. Take a look inside the wagon. I, I can probably find a set of trunks for you. you look like you're no stranger to physical activity. Hmm. Look at him, ladies. It's a crime someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. Let them drown themselves. I can tell my wife is scared. Miss. Hey, Miss. Miss Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twin. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Um, how about Paris? Paris? How, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right now. <sighs> I'm out. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? Smell that. I've never smelled anything like that before, have you? 
Beaches I know don't smell much like that. Mr. Duet, Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power. He falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like his look. Do you dislike the look of the prophet? Or his gaze? Can we leave now? into the water do you no favors. I'll keep an eye out for something that might use me. Seems like we're fairly well healed, Mr. Dwight. Cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. He's to it. How do you... Never mind. Look at these, they're amazing. Which one do you like more, this one or, or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just... <sighs> the one on the right. Are you sure? I'm sure. I love it. Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh my god! My god! It has to be. Who else Look. Is such a thing? Are you all right? It was my home. We should get out of here. Let's go. How could how could this happen? Why did the prophet foresee this? have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. Fingers apart. Legs apart. Stand still. Now hold steady. I ain't getting through there. I have just the thing. Come on. Look at this one. Hey, hey, copper. Look at this one. He's suspicious, if you ask me. I don't see the point of stopping all right, all, all right, of us quiet to down there, Pete. Let's go home and drive this stuff. Ah, uh, damn thing's locked. What is happening? What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. Where did you learn to pick locks? Trapped in a tower with nothing but books and spare time? <laughs> you would be surprised what I know how to do. with more than the slightest complexity. Or they simp... Oh. <laughs> Hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey shines. Over here. I found these silver eagles. There's a vending device over there. There might be something to bring you back to health. It's probably a good idea.
yourself a few key questions, such as, don't you think those Vox Populi folk have a valid complaint against the Prophet? And, I'm sure some of your friends have attended meetings. I'd sure like to see what they're all about. Now, back to the music. When I first seen Columbia, that sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. Hey, hey mister. Seemed like We'd like to help heaven. You. Then your eyes adjusted to the light, and you saw that sea of white faces looking hard back at you. for you, sir. You best be on your way, or there's gonna be trouble for us both. Ugh. Do I know you? Back at the lottery. Without you, we wouldn't have gotten away. Daisy always said somebody like you would come along. to have the time. Wallace Flintlock. It's the newest one in the series. I read it was delayed three times. How do you and you come and take a photograph in the father of our country? <gasps> Chop down the cherry tree. He crossed the Delaware on bending knee. Pleasure to offer you a refreshment. Queen Columbia and Barbara Stranger. Comstock will take care of them. But... Why is one bathroom for colors? It just is. Sounds like an unnecessary complication. I hope you don't intend for me to follow you in there. 
As a boy, I had a dog named Bill. Like all dogs, Bill was a loyal friend. If we had not fed him, Bill would have been loyal. Trying to get us both arrested? Bill would have been loyal. Only when the colored man can make that claim will he take his place in society. out you're running around planting kisses on all the girls but little Mary McCarthy and that horrid Aaron O'Malley if your father found out oh, it is bad enough he has to employ those potato eaters. <laughs> oh, Frederick you leave me in such a state. Yes, at a newspaper. <laughs> That's the modern woman, I suppose. Doesn't make it right. Annabelle? Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> that was... odd. Last customer. Park's closing. Park's closing, everyone. Yep. These shoes sure could benefit from a shine. Guess I haven't paid much attention. Watch out. I just swapped that. Excuse me. If you're in such a hurry, go on ahead. Um, have you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? Uh, I guess so. I'll take, uh, one, uh, one silver eagle. You need something, pal? Two tickets for passage to the First Lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you, uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister. You're gonna get mustard mm -hmm. over your nice suit. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send in the bird. We're ready to execute. Excuse me, can I get some help here? Certainly, sir. Sorry about the wait! Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Get the girl! Get off of me! A 
Elizabeth! One, stay away from me! After them! What did you think was going to happen? Hmm? What? Do you understand the expense the people went through to keep you locked up in that tower? You think people like that are just going to let you walk away? You are an investment, and you will not be safe until you are far away from here. What, what do they want from me? I don't know. That's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Let me see your hand. What happened back there? It's not the last of it, is it? I don't know. There. I suppose I best get used to it. I've read a thing or two about medicine. I'll do my best to keep you supplied with remedies. Deeper, and I'll try to keep you on the side of the abyss.
find some genuine lockpicks, I might be able to get this door open. I'm sure I saw some interesting things on the other side. All yours. Comstock house was simple. Hard work, sure, but simple. Ringing the linen, scrubbing the floors. <laughs> Lady Comstock, she even had a kind word now and then. Almost enough to make me think I had a place in their world. <laughs> God made foolish girls so he could have something to play with. Let me see if I can get that. as a prophet having a bunch of carnies and carousels. The place is themed to acquaint children with national service. You mean the military? Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Oh, do you write that? No. Forcing it open. Shocky, jockey. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. Duck. That will take us to Paris. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. Duet. Call me Booker. Oh, uh, all right. Booker. Should we head to the gondola or take it? a place like our ice cold <laughs> Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel try it yourself and when I came to Washington there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Colombia 
but it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to righteousness. For what am I, if not a mirror to reflect the face of God? We got dogs for the boys, dogs for the girls. Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting you. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Yes, I got a bit behind with current events. Don't be a dimwit. Can candy, sweet bread of light, and she can candy. How these complications? Are you, Mr. DeWitt? Some sort of. I'm a uh, independent contractor. Used to work. In Pinkertons and such. Not something you'd want gracing a resume. Pinkertons? Weren't they the ones they'd call in to settle things when the workers took to strike? Them? Settle. Oh, that's a word for it. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. So, Mr. DeWitt, is there a woman in your life? There was. She died. How? Giving birth. Oh. You have a child? No. Look! Duke and Dimwit! You know, remember boys and girls, don't be a dimwit! How could you not know that? Must be something particular to Columbia. Oh, I loved those stories when I was a kid. But they are... Uh, they are a bit off. Time's coming, she says. Are you ready? Someone gave it to me, I promise. I ain't never smoked one before. They smoke them if you got them, pal. I ain't no gendarme. No. Thank you, sir. where you found it. I won't say it again. All right, no need to get emotional. Hmm. City's gone to hell. Next thing I know, there'll be Vox Populi rampaging through the streets.
summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. They seem to be the controls of the summer. It looks like this runs exclusively on shock jock. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your womenfolk. Act for your prophet. Act. Closed until further notice. And there won't be a line to get in. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. I hate these things. Jeez, oh, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Opening a tear. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time their doll is dishwater. A different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing, and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <laughs> I don't really understand what I just saw back there, but it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn by him.
Hold and release to create an eruptive trap. Here's some cash. Catch! Thanks. Look! Fink Industries. Seems like they're the ones responsible for this shock jockey product. They should be ashamed of themselves. Beat up the- Crack this one open? I'll see what I can do. There you go. Huh. Look at that. I served two score years of soldiering, and every heathen land I've known has less people for my passing. I hated no special enemy. Until now. Comstock. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles, and cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it, and he stripped me of my rank. That man has never seen the savage face of war. Tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air.
this? My tower? It's only fair they give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? Make sure you go to the Hall of Heroes and try out the brand new shotgun owning the power company. Elizabeth, a little help? Come on, give me something challenging. It's done. Found some money. Want it? Appreciate it. know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? Your slate, right, sir? Put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of access to the Hall of Heroes. Must be because of what's going on with that man's sleigh. Well, I suppose we could take those skylines above it. This is going to be fantastic. Think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. The line's clear. Look up! 
whose image squats above you even now, at every angle and insult. If the prophet would make a painted whore of our past, what fresh rape does our future hold? Let us now make our stand and fill yonder hole with true heroes.
assassins when our work is done. Cornelius Slate, the swift left hook of the Vox Populi. <laughs> we'll be trading Comstock's life for a new one. So be it. The Fitzroy woman and I are comrades of necessity. I doubt all the men who read in Caesar's book would still be seen breaking bread together in peacetime. With Comstock gone, my men's past deeds will be sacred. Our prophet Father Comstock, commander of the Seventh Cavalry. That man did not lead the Seventh. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll- That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! Give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you and won't get me in Beaky. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials are not Push him out! Ah! Ah! 
young miss. You see the man that Comstock wishes he was. A real I soldier. I don't want to do this, Slade. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me, come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Come out where I can see you. out there. Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they... Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops... Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Who wants to live the river? Ask for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you try to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? What did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. Say what you want about Lady Comstock. Ben had an eye for fashion. Found some money. Catch, Booker! Got it. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own. The seed of 
the prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. The child took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the prophet's heir day and night. That's my tower. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. Need some help with this. these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Done. I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Open it! Not sure I understand this, but I'm not complaining. Enough, Slate. We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate!
your eye open for that shock jockey bigger. Here's some cash. Here. Thanks. Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. And too rare is the man who takes a stand with you for and God and sweetest fatherland. And here is the place where we revere the, the heroes of our city. Kid men, Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Is that Slate? He's here. But our lives won't satisfy him, oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits.
not the Booker DeWitt I remember. Tin Man! Tin Man! Okay, catch. on your plate! Finish it! You're a Tin Man now! A Tin Man! Electricity. Hold and release to create a shocking trap. You spared him. It wasn't no person. Comstock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. There you go. 
Go ahead. I'll be fine. Slate said bothered you. I showed you. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me.
been spoiling for this! Yeah, I'm trying! Oh. You'll be sorry. He's hiding. Names, Booker. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one, Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune.
They're all gone. Come on out. Elizabeth? That won't take but a minute. It's done. Found some money. Here. Much obliged. understand how you do what you do, these tears. I always thought of them as doors. When I was younger, I didn't just them. And the ones I found, I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. But I always wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family? Huh. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah? And what did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Book her up there. One of those shock jockey doors. Maybe we should take a look. a sporting man, Miss Fitzroy. I won't steal up on you while you slumber like these Vox boys here with their pig stickers. No, no. That's one scalp to me. That's two. Now when you hear this, I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Give this a try. Not you can. 
can do is stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where you want.
some help with this. I can do that. Done. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. Anna. I don't want to talk about that. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. <laughs> How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you. Thanks. So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a profit on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. Huh. Feel better already. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. 
And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. Come on. Hey, uh, Elizabeth, it's gonna be okay. Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs>
Overpowered them and took the prisoner. Faggots were stacked in the courtyard and Taylor set them. Taylor was slowly boosted. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for a minute! Stay away! I just wanna talk to you! For a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Just stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way. Slate a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in the Hall of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the Hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner. <laughs>
Jesus, don't run out! Oh. to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a now, means to an end. Somebody no comes more. along and tells you that you are getting the short end of the stick. Do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, friend, what you do. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know the woman. Friend, you know better than a slave. Well, here's what you tell those stuffed shirts. You say, I ain't no slave. I ain't no fool. I am a big man.
and proud of it.